Want to win all the gift cards down below? All you have to do is drop a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, leave a comment, and enjoy the video. Number 7. So for this hack, you're going to need a lit candle and make sure you have the candle wax. And then you're going to want to dip in the matches inside the candle wax so they're covered in wax. So the wax is basically just going to make the matches waterproof. So that's very useful because so just in case you fall in a lake with all your matches and you're like stranded somewhere and you need the fire, this hack will help you. So as you can see, the matches still work. I mean, they're very low, but it's still really helpful just in case to get in that situation. Number six. This next hack is very important because it bothers me when there's a little bit of toothpaste left and you can't get it out. But if you watch this hack, it will show you what to do so that doesn't happen. So first you're just going to want to fill up the little syringe with all your toothpaste. As you can see, it's easier to do it like this than trying to squeeze out the last very bit of toothpaste, and that's very hard to do. Number 5 And now I can sharpen both sides so you can alternate let's say five times on one side five times on the other side now you know the knife is sharp when you can basically hold it like this on your fingernail put an angle see the knife is sharp enough to dig in into your nail under its own weight and stay that way so let's try cutting the paper it's a little better you can keep it going Let's try it now. That's a noticeable improvement. Still not perfect, but noticeably better than before. So if you have some dull knives lying around, you might want to keep this method in mind. Number four. So this next hack is good if you want to be Suge Knight and inject a disease into someone. I'm just kidding. Don't use it like that. And if you do inject someone, I didn't tell you to. I encourage you not to inject something into someone else unknowingly. So let's start the video.
Number 3 So I really like this next hack because it's just very creative and it's like very useful. I would use this all the time. Like I would use this all the time. So first you're just going to want to cut an opening in the top of a lemon. And then you're going to want to cut off this part of the bottle. Like the top of it. I don't know what you call that. But you just want to cut off that part. Just continue watching the video to know what to do next. Number two. So this hack is also very important because sometimes when you're trying to screw your spaghetti into your pocket, it gets really hard and the screws just keep falling off. Well, if you watch this video, it's gonna teach you a way so the screws don't fall off the screwdriver. So let's start the video. Number one. So for this last hack, I really enjoyed this one because I've tried it in real life and it really works well. Like you guys probably think that the video's over exaggerating, but it's not. It really works this well. And instead of buying all the chemicals and stuff, you could just make it at home easy and it's just really good because and it's good because if you have tiny kids at home and they always draw on the walls with markers, you could just use this hack and trust me, it works. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all have a great day.